us talk about uh, <coughs> the topic metagenomics today. What is metagenomics is all about? The word metagenomics contains two words, the meta and the genomics. As you know, the genomics word it deals with the study of uh, total genome of an organism or, or a cell of a, of a cell, cell or an organism. A cell is a body cell of an organism, so uh, definitely <coughs> we need to have this genome from certain cells, uh, those are from T cells, isolated from T cells. So, when you talk about the study of the whole genome of an organism or cell, that study is called genomics, that involves sequencing of a DNA, uh, then sequence matching with uh, existing or existing DNA in the database, then uh, Annotating the particular genes with their specific physiological roles. So, genomic research in, involves all these things together of the whole set of chromosomes that are present in a cell. But what is metagenomics? The word meta means it in a, in a further totality. It includes, in fact, uh, all the organisms, not the one, all the organisms, genome, genomes rather, present in an, in an environment, environment. Say maybe water sample in a in a in a lake. In a lake there are a lot of water sample. Waters are there, water is there. That that uh, nurtures that contains large number of microbes growing there. When you are culturing them, only few of them are coming, not all. And maybe what one percent of them are growing in the culture. Ninety nine percent are not growing in the culture. And those could be studied by this metagenomic approach. So, you take uh, water from this sample, maybe 1000 liters or more, and you filter it out. And with the, fil uh, with the filter, you isolate DNA, and you subject it to sequencing. And uh, homology, Matching or matching or searching in the in the database. This will give rise to identification of certain certain micros with the help of their 16s RDNA or 18s RDNA for years sequence analysis. And this metagenomic approach will, has revealed that. Uh, uh, in any environment, 99% uh, of the organisms are non-culturable. So, metagenomic is the kind of uh, culture independent approach. It's a, it is a culture independent approach, where you don't need to have a culture of the organism, as we you don't know the exact nutrient requirement of the organism. That is why whenever you are culturing with uh, maybe media like nutrient agar or urea vertani, agar media or potato dextrose agar, whatever uh, complete media you are using, the organisms that are growing are only limited number of organisms that utilize this, uh, this media. But there is a group of organisms that utilize oligotropic media media with very low nutrient and those uh, 
kind of bacteria or microorganisms they are not able to grow in this nutrient rich media but what exactly the nutrient requirement is we still don't know and that's why 99% of them they have a diverse nutrient requirement of course and 99% of them are not growing in this kind of media and we remain unaware of them to know them this metagenomic approach can be taken basically it is a culture independent approach so now let us